We're here with John Casson, chairman of the Snowboarding Sport Committee at USSA Congress 2015. And John, thanks for joining us. Want to check in a little bit on some of the actions of the Sport Committee. And first, let's talk a little bit about Alpine Snowboarding. It was an interesting year, actually, with Justin Ryder picking up the win. Talk a little bit about what the Alpine Snowboarding community is doing. Well, first of all, congrats to Justin. He had a fantastic year, winning his first World Cup and the first World Cup winner in many years. So that was exciting for everybody in the Alpine community to see. And based on that and a lot of other initiatives, they're no longer a centrally funded program in USSA. Um, they've, uh, following the blueprint of USA Ski Jumping, they formed their own organization, US uh, Snowboard Racing, and have launched their own website and fundraising campaign. It's a well-done website. They've had support and input and guidance from USSA staff, along with other business consultants, and they have a great project going forward to help fund the next up and coming athletes there to follow in Justin's path. Cool. Let's shift gears now and talk a little bit about Project Gold, a very important mm -hmm. development program uh, project uh, for U.S. snowboarding. Talk about the latest in that program. Well, Project Gold continues to be one of our strongest programs. We serve over 100 athletes in uh, freestyle events and border cross events. We run camps, programs here at the COE, and all kinds of uh, support opportunities for those young athletes to develop into the elite level. Now, I know that in the pipeline for snowboarding, very important partnership with USASA. Talk a little bit about the discussions with USASA here at Congress. USASA is a fantastic partner. They provide uh, a wide base of athletes that end up growing into our future Olympians. And uh, Pete Davis, the executive director of USASA, he attended our meetings this year, and our partnership with USASA has never been stronger. Just an example of that is our Revolution Tour, which has previously been our entry-level competition. We're going to make that a pre-qualification only event, and the qualification into Revolution Tour will come from USASA regional events that they will then build out. So just an example of how our partnership with USASA continues to help us um, with our athlete development, align our organizational goals, and just benefit all the stakeholders in snowboarding. Good. John Casson, the chief of the U.S. Snowboarding Sport Committee, thanks for joining us, John.